Hi, my name's Amber. Welcome to the Fresno Chaffee Zoo Summer Extended Learning Program. This is Home Sweet Habitat, so we're going to buckle up, grab our passports, and go check out some grasslands. Today we're learning about one of the most widespread habitats on land, grasslands. Grasslands can go by many names, including savanna, prairie, rangeland, and steppe. Grassland habitats receive more rainfall than deserts, but not enough to support large growth of trees and bushes. Instead, this habitat is covered by almost continuous grasses. Found around the world, many different types of animals call grasslands home, creating complex ecosystems. The grasses and other plants in these habitats grow using energy from the sun. This produces food for some of the largest species in the world. While most trees and shrubs cannot survive the dry conditions of the African savanna, the acacia tree is specially adapted with long roots to reach water deep underground. The acacia tree is a favorite food for giraffes, who, as an herbivore, eat only plants. Giraffes have a special long tongue that can wrap around branches to strip off all of the leaves in one bite. Because they are so large, giraffes need to eat about 70 pounds of food a day. Their tongues are dark purple in color to help them from getting sunburned while eating all day. Giraffes also have a special stomach that helps them get as much nutrients and water out of their food as possible. Across the rangelands of Australia, the kangaroo have adapted to eating the tough grasses and staying cool in the hot weather. Their front teeth can bite off grasses close to the ground, while their back teeth grind up the plants. All that work means that the kangaroo's back teeth wear out quickly. But not to worry, they grow new teeth in regularly to replace the worn out ones. Like the giraffe, the kangaroo also has a specialized stomach that helps them chew their food more than once and get the most out of every meal. Also found across Australia, the emu has many adaptations that help it to avoid predators in the tall grass. Emu can be over five feet tall, making them the second largest bird in the world. Their height helps them to see over the tall grass and to watch for any dangers that may be hiding. The light brown color of their feathers helps them to match the colors of the grasses and shrubs and their loose feathers blowing in the wind matches the swaying grasses to help them blend in even better. When they do need to run from predators, emus have a special eyelid that they can see through. This helps protect their eyes from sand and dirt when they are running. Can you think of any other animals that camouflage with grass? One species few expect to have speed on its side is the pancake tortoise. Native to the East African savannas, the pancake tortoise is the fastest tortoise in the world. They achieve this speed with their thin, flexible shell, rather than being weighed down by a heavy shell that is typical of other tortoises. Instead of using its shell for protection, this tortoise prefers to run and hide into the gaps between rocks when it spots a potential predator. With their flexible shell, they are able to squeeze tight into spaces, making it difficult for any predator to reach them. Another savanna species that relies on cover for protection is the meerkat. Meerkats have intricate tunnel systems that protect them from predators. as well as providing a cool place to rest during the heat of the day. Unfortunately for the meerkat, they can't spend all their time in the safety of their tunnels, and they must search outside of their homes for food. 
So to keep everyone safe, one meerkat will climb on top of the highest rock or a termite mound and stand watch for any predators. If anything is spotted, the meerkat will call out, sending everyone running for cover. Just like herbivores, carnivores like lions have to be well adapted to their environment in order to survive. Lions are unique in the cat family because they live and hunt together in groups. Lions hunt mostly at night and most of the hunting is done by the females in the pride. Hunting in the dark makes it easier for the lions to sneak up on their prey. Lions' eyes are especially adapted to let in more light, helping them see better in the dark. They also have light patches of fur under their eyes to reflect the light and help them see even better. What other animals do you think are awake at night? One of the most recognizable grassland species is the African elephant. As the largest land animal in the world, elephants make a big impact on their habitat. Elephants have been known to knock down trees for food and use their tusks to dig for water. They also help to spread seeds for new plants in their feces. While the changes elephants make to their habitat often benefit other species, the changes humans are making to their grasslands are usually less positive. Around the world, grasslands have been turned into land for crops, livestock, and cities. Together, we can work to protect the homes of all the animals we saw today. I hope you had fun uh, going through the grasslands with us. Join us next week when we're gonna get wet. Grab your scuba gear, we're gonna go to the oceans.